I have met with probably a number of different types of software companies that want to do pop health because I work in network operations with others across the region. And when you look at the other tools that are across, they all want to do the same thing. It's surprising. They say they can do these things. But then when you actually start to work with the companies and you start to see what's really behind the doors, you see you really haven't done a whole lot. Four or five different types of tech companies have ran into two that are able to do it successfully. One of them is ECW. We've been able to create a team uh, and do data aggregation using that tool. We participate in the American Medical Group Association, um, their Measure Up, Pressure Down campaign. When you look at trying to extract those data for that campaign, we were completely unable to participate in that before about a year ago. We've been able to move the needle pretty hard and fast. Um, we started out at about 59% control when we, when we first began, which is actually still better than the national norm right now, and we've driven that to about 67% within seven to eight months of working on this project. I think the next, you know, our goal is by the end of this calendar year that we are, we are above that 70% mark, and hopefully by the end of this academic year, approaching that 80% mark. It's a lot of money. You know, 1% improvement uh, in, a pop, in a patient population our size results in about a $40,000 reduction in overall healthcare spend. It's just this drive to innovation to continuously innovate where a lot of other platforms are clearly pretty stagnant. We selected ECW as our partner know, eight years ago, nine years ago, before there was a high-tech act, before that whole concept existed, and, um, you know, it was the right choice. There's no doubt in my mind that it was the right choice.